Hey Lucas, this is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO. I'm just shooting you over that video about how you can improve your online presence. So just taking a look at your website, got a really nice header here, love the logo. Uh, you got all your drop downs with all the different uh, services you provide, as well as you have a click to call, which is awesome. Um, you wanna get them on the phone as quickly as possible when they get to your site. Then of course, as you go down, you have your email or you have them email you and then a little bit about what you are and what you stand for and how long you've been in business 15 years that's freaking amazing and then on other services that you have so you do have a lot going on i'm going to be honest you don't have a ton of content as far as uh words go so I'd say about 500 words throughout your homepage. What Google is really looking for nowadays is about 1,500 to 2,000 words. The reason being is so that you can put keywords throughout your site. Now, what a keyword is, is a buyer intent word that someone's putting into Google in order to find your specific service. But before we get deeper into that, let's check behind the scenes and see how well your site is doing. The way we do that is with a system called Ahrefs. Now, the two main things that we look for are the UR rating and the DR rating. Now, the UR rating is the strength of your website, and the DR rating is the trust Google places in your site. Now, ideally, we want these between 30 and 40 with a ratio of one to one. That's what we call the golden ratio. Now, the way we get that up is with strong backlinks. Now, what a backlink is, is any link that leads from another website back to yours. Now, all backlinks are not created equal. For example, a backlink from Wikipedia would be an awful link because Wikipedia is a super spammy site. However, a backlink from a distinguished flooring blog would be great because that's relevant to your service. Now, another super important thing are those organic keywords. What buyer intent words are you ranking for or what buyer intent words is Google ranking you for that you're popping up when people type in? So let's check them out. You have 253. So Lima flooring, floor screening, Oscar flooring, gym floor repair. There we go. Our first real one. Hardwood floor, Kansas. 250 people search that. You're right now, you went up one position since September, and because you're still on the third page, you're not getting any traffic from that. Hardwood Flooring, Kansas, same deal. You actually went down six spots, um, which never a good sign. You have zero. So all of these, you're looking for those buyer intent words for your area that people are looking for flooring. So let's check out what that one would be. Uh, Hardwood Floors, Kansas City. So we put it in, out pops first up, you're gonna have your Google Guarantee. These are the people that go through a special process to get um, that check mark. And every time, and the way to stay on here is by answering these calls. So if you miss a call, you're gonna get booted off and not be in the top three. So these guys are doing really well. They're answering the calls that are that they're getting through this. So that's why they're staying up. Next important thing is gonna be your GMB. Now, this is important to get on because 30 to 40% of all people will stop right here and pick one of these people because that's just the easiest thing to do. They're, first, they're the first, so they must be good. And then you're gonna have your organic rankings. This is by strength of website. Now, your top competitor is gonna be SVB Wood Floors. So let's check them out. So as you can see, their site has a bunch of content on it as well as they have a nice header, they got their click to calls, they got all their services, and they have a lot of content. Not the 1,500 to 2,000 words, but still enough to, to get them through. So let's check behind the scenes and see why they're number one for that as well. So as you can see, their strength is 33 and their trust is 20. So they're doing really well in their strength. And even though they're at 20 for trust, that's still pretty good. They're on their way up. And as you can see, they have over 5,000 different backlinks leading back to their site, which is awesome. As well as they have almost 10,000 organic keywords that they're ranking for. Now, I'm gonna be honest, most of these keywords aren't buyer intent. Um, they have their own blog. So most of their keywords are from their blog. So let's check out the keywords that are actually relevant. So I just put, make sure to contain the phrase Kansas City. And as you can see, hardwood floors, 250 people, they're in the first real position. They're getting 38 buyer intent people coming to their site. Hardwood Flurry Finishing, 250 people. They're in the second or third real spot, 25 people coming through. K 
Kansas City hardwood floor refinishing, same deal. As you can see, for these buyer intent keywords, they're getting that traffic and they're getting people coming to their site. So if we're looking to beat them out and get buyer intent traffic through your site, first comes first up, you need those backlinks. You want to beat your competitor as far as backlink goes. They have 5,000, you want 5,500. Great thing is, you already know where to get 5,000 of those, your competitor. You know SVB Wood Floors, they have good backlinks. You're able to take them, or at least the good ones, and add them to your own backlinks. And that'll help you go, uh, you raise your URDR. And then of course, you want content. You want as much, uh, you want the 1,500, 2,000 words throughout your homepage, as well as five to 750 words through your service pages, so that you can organically put buyer intent keywords throughout your site, so Google can know what to rank you for um, and what you you want to be known for. You do that, and you start seeing more people come through your site and more calls through your website. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach back out to me, and if you can leave some feedback, that would be awesome. You have a nice rest of your day.